What are we doing today? Today, we're looking at the MVC Universal Peacock app. Peacock app just came out today, and uh, we're gonna take a look at it and see if it's pretty cool. What do you think? Should we go? Should we go look at the Peacock app? That would be fun. Let's go. Okay, so today we're gonna be looking at Peacock, new app and streaming platform from NBC Universal. So I've downloaded Peacock and set up my account and just going to give you a brief overview of the app and all of the things that Peacock is giving to you. So when we first look at this, we have a trending page. It comes up to this clean interface, very uh, minimalistic. And basically they're like cards that you just kind of look at and see if they basically what you want to look at and possibly watch. So we have a trending Peacock original called Brave New World. We have some kind of performance. This looks like America's Got Talent. Cat moments. I'm not sure why. Global news maybe. Um, cat photo bombs. Parliament meeting. Maybe top news that they have. Trending. Colin Joe says Doom, Doomsday tools and some sports and some other type of peacock pop culture. So semi-curated, semi-trending. Got some news, CDC, worst COVID is yet to come. And uh, yep, some more sports. If we um, go to the left here, we have a channels page. And what we see here is, this is kind of like um, TV Guide. So if you're coming from uh, watching television and you're cutting the cord, this is something that you probably would like. Also, kind of reminds me of Pluto. TV. If you haven't seen Pluto TV, it's a free app and um, they show that you have what's on now and what's coming up next. So it's kind of a pared down version of the TV guide. Let's look at some of the channels. We have sports. Looks like we have Newcastle, maybe some European soccer, football, NBC News Now, Today, All Day. Looks like Today's show just streaming all the time. So yeah, this is kind of like Pluto where they are curated channels. SNL Vault, Office Shorts, Seth Meyers Show, CNBC Money. Oh, it's pretty varied too. Pretty nice Sky News, Make It, NBC Make It, CNBC Make It. Must be a show on CNBC. True Crime, Unsolved Mysteries Channel. Yeah, this is just like Pluto. American Greed, Hell's Kitchen. Wow, they put Bob Ross on here. Mm-hmm, they did it. That's going to be cool to watch. I used to watch Pop Ross all the time, and he's trending as well. Fail Army, Out of This World, 80s Mixtape, 21 Jump Street on there, I see that. In It to Win It, Poker, I Love Jenny, So Real, some of these I haven't heard of. But uh, Weather Spy, must be their type of app. Cool name, looking looking forward to watching it. Fallon Tonight, that's cool, NBC News, and then it kind of, yeah. So it goes back again, it just kind of scrolls right back again. And on this other side, if you go to the right, you have a browse option. And this looks more like uh, Netflix or Disney Plus or, you know, Hulu, where you can just go into different categories. And they have a featured page, which they have this nice top scrolling bar with all their, probably the best shows, best movies you can come up with, best shows that they have on the platform. Then they also have featured channels, again, bridging the gap between streaming and cable, Peacock Picks, featured films, Peacock original so they have some original content as well uh, free laughs so this is a part of the free tier there's a there's a paid tier I think is $9.99 and then there's a free tier which is probably ad supported and limited kind of like how Hulu has it all the drama at no cost things like that all right TV shows okay same setup basically you got your top content up top top uh, TV shows and then you have some curated categoristic category type picks so award winners, again, originals, and I would seem the same thing here on movies, okay? Yep, same thing. See if there's anything good. Identity Thief is great. Forgetting Sarah Marshall is great. Parenthood, great movie. Got some action adventure. Born Identity is excellent movie. Love watching that. They just put a new stunt show at Universal. Looking forward to seeing that someday. Shrek, that's a timeless classic. Not Silent Bilko. Sergeant Bilko. Sergeant Bilko. Silent Bilko, an old one. All three Matrix. Be cool if you saw the animated shorts on here. Howard the Duck. Wow. Love Howard the Duck. Fear and Loathing. Great movie, Johnny Depp. Howard the Duck is like a blast from the past. American Psycho. Oh, good picks. So yeah, and they're going back to the classics as well. You have all these Frankenstein, Dracula, Werewolf, The Mummy. It's cool. Old classics for every, a little bit for everybody. Bird on the Wire. It's classic. Timeless. Ooh, I lost myself here. Hidden Gems. It's cool. Man on the Moon. Lost World, okay. Then there's some kids, same idea. Oh, Peacock Original, Curious George. 
So that's uh, more original content. I'm sure they will release more as time goes on. Okay, so you got some nightly news. They're putting all their stuff together in one big app. So there's a nice variety here. Very good. Sports. You know, sports isn't really a hot topic today with all the season cancellations, but there's some, some world soccer, and some documentaries. Yep, Peacock Original in the deep, in deep with Ryan Lochte. He was in the uh, Olympics. And then they have some Latino content, so as well as searching. So if you search for Jurassic Park, spell it wrong, you have it. So there's a search feature. Jurassic City, never heard of that. Must be a B movie. So that is a quick overview of the new Peacock app on, this is on the iPad, but I assume they probably are on Roku, they're probably on the web, probably on your uh, Apple TV, things like that. And if they're not there, they're probably coming. So there you have it, Peacock. Well, that was it. I thought Peacock was pretty cool. Um, I don't know, is there a too late in the game to be, uh, to be coming out with an app? I don't know, better late than never, right? Uh, I'm gonna give it some more time and see what the Peacock app offers. I don't know if I'm gonna do a subscription, but uh, should we do a subscription maybe for a month? Uh, and I'm also gonna check it out on like the Roku and, uh, man, you're heavy. Um, we'll see if we like it or not. I'll probably do an update in a couple months. If you guys liked it, if you liked the video, let me know down in the comments below. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, the notification bell as well. And if you did like the video, give it a thumbs up, right? Thumbs up, pause up. We'll see you in the next video.